Okay, my next senior award goes to Skylar Meads. And Skylar had indicated to me that she's going to St. Louis Community College, majoring in chemistry. And um, Skylar's five memories of band. Um, the first memory was starting out in band with her brother. And, um, you know, that, that is a pretty special thing that you can have two siblings in band because a lot of times that doesn't happen a lot of times one the siblings don't get a well get get to get um get along well enough um there's jealousy rivalry whatever etc cetera, etc cetera. um or they end up fighting and then whatever kind of home drama they have they end up bringing to band but in in your case with you and your brother actually it you guys were like best buds from my perspective in, in band, you know, I felt like you guys got along well, you worked well together and, and I agree. And your brother's a pretty special guy and, you know, having that extra time together, that time during the day, you guys are working together and a common goal is, is a pretty special thing. Um, you talked about marching and playing Tritico, uh, your freshman year, that show. And yeah, that, that was a pretty cool show. I like, I like the music for that show. Actually, one other side note on that. So we were working with a, an arranger at the time, a band arranger. And and before this, the, 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 the person who I was working with before that, I, and I talked about this Treaty Co. music that I wanted to do, and he didn't really feel like that would work very well for a show. So he actually discouraged it. Uh, we ended up going different directions. and, and um, But I, I, I'd had that Treaty Co. show in mind for several years, probably three or four years. And then it was coming into your freshman year. I just said, let's just do it. I said, I like the music. We ended up using somebody else to, to do the music. And, and I, I love the show. I thought it was really cool. I thought the music is intriguing. And, um, you know, I agree with you. That was, that was a, a, one of my favorite, one of my favorite shows. Um, you wrote on here, learning and performing the stamp piece. And, um, yeah, totally. Um, you know, that, that was one of those pieces, knowing, especially Jack Stamp, knowing Andrew Boysen, who composed the piece and wrote it in the style of Jack Stamp, knowing him. Um, it's, it's just kind of an insightful piece, especially for me, because of knowing those two individuals and, um, and knowing Andrew, Boy, Andrew Boysen. And I'm, and I'm sorry, the hope was for the band to be able to meet him this year, but he is the most laid back, easygoing guy and to actually hear some of the music that comes out of him is just really, really amazing. And I'm going to tell this story because I told this before. Um, when we brought him to St. Louis and we were at dinner and we were talking about some other music that he wrote. And, you know, I said, I said, Andy, where does this come from? And you and and his line was that he goes, Tony, I've got lots of issues and they're really deep. And um, so maybe people have told him that before, and that was like a can line that he had ready to go um, for anybody that asked. But it, w it was still a pretty funny, funny moment. Um, you wrote down here going to Tantara. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think, I think um, you know, the, the energy at playing at Tantara, the enthusiasm that you guys had um, on stage, the, the, the no fear and... You know that's that's really hard for kids coming into a a, a big stage environment to not approach it with fear, and um, you guys didn't do that. You you went right after it. I mean, you were you were on it and went after it, and I am so glad that you were part of that and got to feel that um, energy from that performance. Um, the other one, and and I was not on your bus, but knowing you and knowing how passionate you are. It says um, giving your senior speech on the bus at your uh, last marching band contest. Knowing you, knowing how passionate you are, um, I, I would bet it was a pretty moving, moving moment for you and for the kids on there being able to listen to you. Um, some thoughts on you. I, I remember the first time I met you, your brother was a freshman and it was at the Seeds concert and your, your dad came up 
um, and you were in middle school band, and I didn't know you from middle school band, but you were in, in middle school band at at Berkeley, and um, your 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 brother came up, your dad came up, and we were kind of talking, and then you had this little sister, who was there, and I I can remember you, I remember um, your expressions, you 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 were just full of life, full of energy, you were very charismatic, um, you talked with your hands a lot, and. Um, you know, and I just remember, I go, you oh, that's like the neatest kid. And, you know, telling myself at the time, man, I can't wait till I have her in band. I said, she's going to be pretty special. And when you came to band your freshman year, uh, sorry, when you came to, um, when you came to band, you know, right away, you picked up with that same energy that I felt from you that first day um, when you were in middle school and um, just full of life, full of, full of, of energy, um, you worked hard, you played hard, you learned quick. Um, it, you know, it was just a just a, a fun time. Um, and as you grew into the program and matured, um, you know, you went from the little wide-eyed freshman to you know that person who was, you know, helping things, doing things, helping the kids. Um, for for a few years, we seemed to have kind of younger saxophones. The saxophone section tend to be younger, and and really quickly, like your junior senior year, you were kind of one of the senior, kind of one of the upperclassmen, and you were in a leadership role, kind of helping the kiddos march, helping them with their mar with their uh, marching band music. And I remember coming to you your junior year because, especially, you know, I was like, okay, junior senior year, these these are some young pups coming through, and we had some older kids that we were putting on different instruments at the time and I remember talking to you specifically and I said okay I, I need you to step up I need you to take the leadership role I need you to do the things with these kids to make sure that we can get get the group um, where they need to be because especially outside the saxophone section is is the loudest woodwind section so um, well, sometimes they'll double the French horn line but a lot of times you know they're they're picking up the woodwind lines and really helping reinforce and project the woodwind lines so it's a pretty important part you know it's not one where you can you can can take the back seat and I think you knew that and you'd played in band enough and then you know we had talked about that and you said okay Brown I won't let you down I said we'll work it I'll get it together we'll get it going and actually it you know ended up being great um, you know the kids did well they were working hard um, you know you were working them hard and, you know, and I think, too, the reason they help progress, they help improve is because, you know, you gave them, um, you know, the leadership, you gave them the, the, the emotional nourishment um, to want to play and to want to play hard and, and want to work hard. And, you know, the, we had quite a few altos and that was the other reason that was a challenge. Um, but, you know, they, they worked hard. And, you know, they played well. And because of that, we could write music. And if you look back and think about it, especially the last few years, a lot of the musical contribution that we had for the altos was really, really pretty heavy. Because we, we knew what the group could do. So we would write music for the marching band field that would actually enhance, um, you know, that section. Especially when they were using, using part of the woodwind, when they were playing part of the woodwind lines. Um... Some things I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss our little bingo talks, our times at bingo when you're running and and you know we're up there at the the POS just kind of talking, kind of uh, talking about random stuff, talking about random band stuff, talking about life, random life. And you know my line that I always like to say to you, because um, you know you're kind of high strung, you're kind of intense. And then my line I would always say to you, I would say, okay, you have this little mouse in your head and you're chasing that mouse around in your head and you're like all right brown yeah yeah i got it i know so that was your response and and you know that's you i mean that's part of you and that's that's part of why um the the things that you choose to excel in that you really do choose to excel so i i look upon it as an enduring quality about you and it's a special quality about you um you know over the four years Everything that you've given to the program, your willingness to work hard, your willingness to do the things that we needed, the things that we ask, has has just been a value. And um, I do appreciate everything that you've done, and I do appreciate everything 
um, that you've you've worked toward. Um, so this award, it's the A squared plus B squared equals excellence, and it's an award Mr. Kennison created many many years ago, over 20 years ago, and we've still been using this same award for those kids that I think exemplify that. So it's A squared, which is above and plus B squared above and beyond band equals excellence. And I do feel like that definitely exemplifies you and congratulations, Sky.